Welcome back. Today we learn about security and privacy in system preferences pane. Now we are in general pane. Use the general pane of security and privacy preferences to protect your Mac from malware and tampering. Here is change password option. First one is the change password option. Change the login password for the current user. You need to enter your old password then new password. You can change your password for the current user from here. Required password after sleep or screen saving begins. Lock your screen when it's left in the ideal state or wake up a user login password must be entered before the Mac can be used. You can select the amount of time after the screen server or sleep begin before a password is required. Show a message when the screen is logged. Display a short message in the login windows when your Mac is logged. The message is shown to the any users who attempt to log in. It can also be used to provide content information for a lost Mac. To do this, first you need to unlock your authentication. Set log message. And here you can type the message. I'll show you the message will be show on the log screen. So disable automatic login. You need to go advanced tab and require a user to log in in the password after restarting the Mac. Here's allow app download from protect your Mac from malware by only allowing apps that come from the app store or from identified developers. First one is app store. Select to allow only app that have been downloaded from the app store. Next one app store and identified developers. Select to allow apps only from the Apple Store and from developer identified by Apple to avoid any detection of malware. At the advanced step, increase the security on your Mac by automatically logging after a period of inactivity or a specific time. Or required administrative password to access system wide preferences. Security and privacy system preferences. Second one is File Vault tab. Use the File Vault pane of security and privacy preferences to protect the confidential information on your Mac. Turn on or off File Vault from here. If you turn on the file vault, it will be encrypt all the information currently on the startup disk and encrypt and decrypt new information as it's read and written to storage. The initial encryption may take a while depending on the amount of data that's stored, but you can use only Mac while encrypting is taking place. Turn on turn off file vault. Decrypt the encrypted information on your Mac and stop encrypting new information. To do this, you need to turn off File Vault and then enter the system password or your current user password. File Vault is turned on for the disk Macintosh HD. This is the My Startup disk, but you can 
turn off from this tab so here is firewall next to file vault use firewall pane of security and privacy preferences to turn on the firewall in mac os to prevent unwanted connections from the internet or other networks to do this you just need to turn on or off firewall from this panel prevent unwanted connections from the internet or other networks to do this you need to turn on firewall from this panel there is a firewall options choose how much to block incoming connections you need to choose firewall options then you can see how much block incoming connections Here's block all incoming connections prevent incoming connections to non essential services and apps basic internet services or a set of apps that allow your mac to find services provided by other computers on the network this setting prevent connections to all other sharing services to do this you just need to block all incoming connections these all apps will be automatically block from the firewall add an app or services to allow incoming connections you can allow a specific application for the internet connections or you can remove the selected app you want to disallow the internet here is the automatically allow built-in software to receive incoming connections it will be allow built-in apps and services that are signed by valid certified authority to be automatically added to the list of allowed apps without your authorization here is the automatically allowed download signed it will be allow automatically downloaded apps and services that are signed by a valid certified authority to be automatically added to the list of allowed apps without your authorizations if you don't want to use just uncheck this mark here is the enable stealth mode prevent your mac from responding to probing request as the advance increase the security on your mac by automatically logging after a period of inactivity and limiting access to system wide preferences the next to firewall is privacy use privacy pane of security and privacy preferences to manage the information your mac your mac makes available to other across the internet or on network look in location services allow these apps system services and websites to gather and use information based on the current location of your mac to provide a variety of location based services to see specific system services that use your location click the detail when you click the detail button at the bottom of the list on the right to allow the location of your services mac to use contacts allow apps to access your contacts the listed apps have requested access calendars these allow apps to access your calendars this already has been requested to access the calendar same reminders allow apps to access your reminders photos allow apps to access your photos the listed apps have requested access keep in mind if you have items that are stored outside the photos library other apps may still have access to them because they already have requested to access camera allow apps to access the camera microphone these apps will be use microphone because they already requested to access in speech speech recognition allow apps to access speech recognition on your mac these all already allow to access accessibility allow apps to run script and system commands to control your mac the listed apps have 
requested to access to add a specific app click the plus button and choose the app which you want to access the accessibility pane input monitoring we are using other apps if you are using other apps the listed app have requested access allow apps to monitor input to your keyboard mouse or trackpad even while you are using other apps they are already requested to access full disk access allow apps to access all files on your computer including data from other apps for example mail messages safari and home data from time machine backups or certain administrative settings for all users on this mac the listed apps have requested access to add a specific app just click the plus button to add specific app to access full disk access or you can remove the application to disallow full disk access by you first you need to select the application then click on minus button same file and folders allow these apps are allowed to access files and folder in different locations on your this mac the listed apps have requested to access same you can remove or allow or disallow the apps first you need to select and remove the app screen recording allow apps to record you the contents of your screen the listed apps have requested access to add a specific app just click the plus button and allow which allow which you want to allow the apps select the apps and click open it will be allowed to screen recording media and apple music currently i don't have any apps to which i allow to use my media and music but allow apps to access apple music your music and video activity and your media library on this mac the list is, it will be the show the list of apps which you requested to allow same home kit i don't have any app to allow home kit bluetooth this mac the listed apps have requested access to add more app just plus click plus button and select the specific app and click open it will be the use your bluetooth functionality automation next one is uh, user activity message will be the uh, see your user activity it will be disable or enable automation allow apps to access control other apps on your mac the listed apps have requested to access your automation you can uncheck and check the options from the listed here is the analytics and improvement automatically send analytics information to apple and app developers which help them and serve customer better and improve the quality of their products apple advertisement in apple advertising you may sometimes receive ads in apple news stock and the mac app store that are targeted to your interests you can disable personalized ads uncheck this feature you will be not receive any advertising notification